what's good YouTube today we're gonna be reviving temporarily probably for just a one-off episode an old series um, kind of inspired by yesterday's episode of what are they cooking actually uh, where we're gonna be doing a another episode of I tried to summon but this time with Venominaga the deity of poisonous snakes because I thought that deck was super cool um, you know it's probably it's probably not good <laughs> it's probably not good but like unaffected by everything you know that's that's pretty strong, and it can keep reviving. It's it's like if you summon it, if you can actually stick it, like it will it will be good, and not like some of the other crap we tried to make, like Valkyrian uh, or whatever. So I think um, you know it's worth a try, worth trying it out in this uh, sort of whack reptile list that we've thrown together here. So the build is uh, triple Venomenon with one Venomenaga. Honestly, Venomenon's like the worst part about this whole thing. If Venomenon was just like better. You know, I feel like it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be too bad at all. But Venomenon is just kind of mid as hell. Like you gotta two tribute this guy, and his effect's not really even good. It's pretty much just like trying to get him out for the payoff with the Venomenaga. So I wish they had made Venomenon better, honestly. Um, yeah, you can cheese him out with Limit Reverse and then kill him and then flip Rise of the Snake Diddy. That's basically the game plan of the whole deck, but. Yeah, Venomenon is kind of trash, kind of kind of garbage, unfortunately. Venomenaga, though, if it weren't so hard to summon, man, it's so hard to summon, but it's so good. It's just, like, invincible. Being unaffected in Edison format is so nuts. It's so nuts. Uh, so then we have two Anantas and two Vasky playing some other eights so that we can play trade-in, and Anantas and Vasky are just, like, better than <laughs> better than this Venomenon, Venomenaga stuff, honestly. Um but, you know, they, they can't be the sole focus of the deck, obviously, because we're trying to do this other thing over here on the side. But they can be in here. Um, I decided we needed Raikou Charge. It's way better to play, like, Raikou Charge Card Trooper than to try and run Snake Rain. That card is so bad. It's just, like, doesn't do anything, unfortunately. Um, you just, like, use it, and it's just a neg two, and it, like, sets up your grave, I guess, but <laughs> you don't get any value out of any of the stuff you send in Edison format, so unfortunately, I, I don't think Snake Rain's particularly worth it. We're just going to be running this other stuff to fill up the graveyard. And then to go with the Limit Reverse, we have a Card Trooper. We have the Triple Gardeners, of course. You can technically bring back Naga as well, which isn't bad. And then um, Dandelions. Uh, we also are playing one Scylla, just having a beater you can search. We're playing Trigodia. Trigodia, of course, really good in the Reptiles because you got the the fours and all the eights and stuff. Um, so that's that's something. And then, as I mentioned before, we got the trade-ins. Allure of Darkness, so plenty of draw power. Uh, and then Brain Heavy, and then the Trap cards, we got a bunch of Revival Traps uh, to bring back Venomenon, of course, and to bring back all the other stuff. Then we got two of the cards that summons Venomenaga. Maybe I should have just gone three if the goal is to just absolutely summon Venomenaga at all costs. But, um, you know, I tried to make the deck sort of optimal, and I don't think you really want more than... Because, <laughs> like, after you use it once, it doesn't do anything, first of all. And then it's like you're just going to brick on it. Uh, three of this card, though, is absolutely optimal. Offerings is so crazy. Use it with turtle, you get crazy value. So, um, yeah. And then uh, dust shoot torrential are also in here. We didn't have a lot of room for other stuff, so the solemn, and the mirror force, and the typhoon all had to get sided, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, that's the list. We're gonna try and see if we can't summon Venabanaga. Uh First match was up against Dragon Turbo, and the opponent is going first. Our hand is not bad. We actually have a hand that could feasibly do it. It could feasibly do it here, um, but they're they're going off a bunch. They have super rejuve. And um, they don't draw more dragons, at least, but they are going to be drawing four cards in the end phase, I think. And, uh, yeah, because they have two rejuves, and they summon a red med. Uh, so now we go for charge, do the whole mix-it-up charge set Naga play, and then set these other two. And then they go for Trune, we chain, um, and then we get to search... I think I search Vasky, but it doesn't matter what I search because um, we get card destructioned. I don't even know. I feel like they didn't need to card D here. They played really weird, actually. This I feel like they should have gone more aggressive. But, uh, yeah, they card D at this point. And we don't draw another Ravaski, unfortunately. It would have been pretty funny if we had, but we didn't. Um, yeah, it really sucks, actually. If we draw another Ravaski, it would have been really good. But instead, we're kind of just, eh. Uh, they have another Rejuve as well, which is not great. We summon a big, big Ananta. The opponent's got a lot of stuff we have to overcome. Their hand is uh, pretty stacked here. We do have a dust shoot, which could potentially take out one thing. I thought about popping the back row. I think it might be heavy, but um, I think it was still better to pop the red med. Like, yeah, it's just... You don't want to leave red med sitting there, for sure. Uh, 
I just, I just, yeah. Uh, they have like, I know their whole entire hand, and they have like a billion ways to just mess me up, so I just concede. And then game two, we open so bad. <laughs> we open so bad. They actually kind of bricked as well, but our hand doesn't do anything, so it doesn't really, it doesn't matter. We drop a Nanta, kill their guy, all right. Um, and then they trunade. I chain Mind Crush just to call Red Med, and then I see they don't have one. I'm like, all right, whatever, we're done with this one. Uh, so we failed that match, unfortunately. Uh, pretty pretty bad turn of events for us. We didn't get to drop the Venominaga. Uh, match number two, we go for trade-in, pitch this guy, draw into offerings, and now we are one limit reverse away from, or what is it called? Rise of the Snake Deity? Yeah, yeah, okay. Not offerings to the Snake Deity. Not the good one, the bad one. Let's see. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. Um, we are one like revival card away from potentially summoning our ultimate creature, though, the Venominaga. Can we bring it out this game? The opponent's playing some kind of whack garden cat thing. A lot of Vortex Trooper in today's video, weirdly enough. Uh, they go for Caius, which does suck for us, I guess, but it's not the end of the world. Now we go end phase limit reverse, switch it, and we're going to get to do it. We flip up the trap. See, the crazy thing is it's not that hard, I guess, to summon Venominaga. It's, like, not easy either, but... It's not, like, absurd, you know what I'm saying? Like, some of the other things. Um, unfortunately, we haven't filled up our graveyard at all this game, so it's just a 1k. Uh, so now they're going for Garden Cat. I'm like, oh, okay. I see the plan. I see what's happening here. And we're going to have a fat Torrential Tribute. Venominaga doesn't even die because it's unaffected by... Um, because it's unaffected by all other card effects. So, oh, unaffected is a heck of a clause. And we're going to find a trade-in, which makes our grave a little bigger. We attack. Of course, they can't use this Fiendish Chain on our Venominaga. Um, yeah, maybe I should try out some kind of Limit Reverse Magic Planter Fiendish Chain deck. That looks like fun. Could do it with, like, like a, so many things, actually. Maybe that'll be the next video I do. Uh, game 2, our hand sucks. Like, there's no... <laughs> this is so bad. What does this do? It doesn't do anything. We draw Card Trooper. All right, that kind of helps. It's some kind of saving grace for us, you know? Uh, then we go for the dude. The plan is to pop the trooper in end phase. Um, and then they, they flip up re limit reverse before I target it, which was... Yeah, they shouldn't have did that, but it's fine. It's not the not the biggest deal. So now we're going to summon this thing, and just, like... I figure we can't get rescue cat hand-ripped so long as we keep summoning turtles. <laughs> so that's what we do. We just, like, keep summoning turtles. It's really awkward, but it's what we're... It's what we're doing. I'm, like, trying desperate. I'm thinking, all right, if we eventually get to Vasky here, we can resolve deck dev, and then maybe, possibly, we have a chance. Um, here, I think I made a mistake on their turn. I should have just shotgunned the deck dev, because if they, if they, like, went for their monk play or something, it would actually be really bad. So I should have just shotgunned it immediately, rather than waiting for their main phase. But they summon Grandma, so it's fine. And this is not good. This is... <laughs> Oh, this is not good, and then they rip my brain control, and I'm like, oh my god, no. We have Venominaga and Venominon in my hand. Why do I have these useless-ass cards in our hand? Why couldn't this be... All right, whatever. We're going to the next one. Going to a deciding game number three in our hand is is still pretty bad, but it's not as bad. Uh, they do Caius us, though, so now it is kind of... <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit of a... Okay, we're fine. The end phase dust, but the old one is also an offering, so we, we kind of, uh, we outsmart them there. Out, outplayed, outplayed. All right, we go set, set here, then they just set Sangan, then we drop, and then I think we pop the back row, because I didn't want to get punished, considering most of the monsters they would set are just floaters. Uh, they do make a mistake. They should have just killed the set monster with that Caius, and then we would have been, we would have been in not a great spot. I mean, we draw into trade-in, which is fine. We drop the Vasky, so now we're in a pretty decent situation. We set another um reptilian naga they're playing freaking exiled force in here which is all right i guess that takes out our, our guy and i think we just pass at this point we don't have anything chainable to revive here we go set dandy they summon arabellum and they're going to attack over both of our dudes uh well just one of them actually because the vortex trooper has zero attack we activate brain control we take and i think we probably should have main one summoned phenomenon i guess i was worried about trag yeah, this plays around Trag, I guess. So that kind of makes sense. But it's less damage. We'd have done, what, 2k more damage, I think? So they've been out of Brain Con range if we just tribute someone to Venomenon. Or, yeah, Venomenon. Uh, so maybe I should have done that. I don't know if it's better to play around Brain Con or Trag in this situation. And then we just make Army Arm with their guy. 
Uh, and at this point, we're feeling solid. I thought about offering a straight away there because I think Goyo can take the Venomenon. Actually, no, it should be Goyo, Link 1, Venomenon, Link 2. But either way, it works out better because they try to main phase one heavy me right there, which they honestly probably should have done that first. Don't know why they didn't do that first. But uh, yeah, we just take out the Goyo. And now we have offerings again. So we're like, oh man, please don't concede. We can do this. We can do this. We bring back Venomenon and then they scoop. But I'm like, no, we're going for it. We're summoning Venomenaga a second time. So we did manage to bring it out twice this match. And it actually mattered in game one. So that was, that was pretty neat. Uh, we didn't get to resolve the win con, I guess. That's the actual hard part, resolving the win con. We didn't get to do that, but, you know, we brought out Venomanaga. Being unaffected is really good, so that's that's something, I guess. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this fun little video. As always, let me know what you thought in the comment section. I'll see you next time. As always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Furthermore, if you enjoy my content, you should think about becoming a channel member. You get access to tons of bonus content, and it's a great way to help support the channel.